Hey guys, Rhino Bones here with an unboxing thing. And no, it has nothing to do with technology. Well, actually it does. Let's take a look. Today I got the Mint 3D printing pin. And I've been wanting to get myself a 3D pin for a long time. This one just happened to be on sale about the time I ran into a little bit of money after selling one of my cameras. So yeah, let's open it up and see what it's all about. All right, we've got ourselves a nice little user's manual here. We've got, uh, I don't know, returning card. Not much info on here. It does tell us the temperatures we need for the different types of plastic. Comes with three colors of ABS, so not very much at all. Nice little power brick. Decent sized power adapter. The pen itself, the Mint 3D Pro. Yeah, that feels pretty good in the hand. I'm glad, unlike other 3D pens, this one can actually use this uh, curled up plastic ring. Comes with a little screwdriver and a little cleaning tool. Nothing else inside the box. Let's see what else we got. On top of the 3D printer, I also got 32 different colors of PLA filament, because I'm gonna use this to start making some toys of my own. Got a nice ring of flesh tone there. Some sort of metallic colors. Lots of grays, blacks, blues, greens. Yeah, there's gonna be plenty of cool stuff to do. So this is their official PLA filament. So I also got this. This is from another company, same type of filament. It's supposed to work just as well, and it's got, uh, I think, 24 colors in it. So yeah. I've got enough spool here to last me a lifetime, or at least a couple of weeks. Check out a couple of other things I got on my path to becoming a 3D pin master. Got myself a small kit here. Work with models, got a little uh, wipe down cloth. Cheap X-Acto type blade. I've got much better blades. I'll probably be using the better ones because these ones uh, seem kind of flimsy. Nice flush cutter. Scraping tool, a couple of pairs of tweezers, a rasping file. It feels okay. This is awfully flimsy material. And I'll probably end up breaking this the first couple of times I use it. And a couple of uh, different types of files here. Yeah, it's a decent little kit. It costs like eight bucks. I'll use it till it breaks. Next thing I got was 90 pieces of sandpaper. Got all sorts of different grits here. I think I got from 100 grit all the way up to 3,000. So yeah, I'm gonna make my pieces really smooth. Steel mini files. All right, so these files right here, very similar to the ones that were in the other kit. Yeah, I'd say these are probably from the same company. Actually, this one is in a lot better condition. It's almost like the other one might have been used or something. This one actually looks pretty good. So yeah, diamond files and some different rasps. These ones feel pretty solid. That is good. That's some nice quality right there. All right, I'm pretty happy with those. Can't wait to rasp some stuff out. Yeah, I like that. Razzed. Assorted razzed. <laughs> English. Last but not least, I've got myself a little soldering iron kit. If you've watched any videos, you know that people use soldering irons with these different tips to sort of smooth out their 3D pieces. And yeah, that's what I'm gonna use it for. Picked up one that was recommended by one of the channels. It was really inexpensive. And yeah, you can see it's got all the goodies here. Oh, what a nice little sponge this has to go right there. <laughs> Uh, now, I probably could have used my old soldering iron, but I didn't have any tips and I had basically lost everything in the case. I didn't even have a stand to hold it on. So yeah, picked this up. It was 11 bucks. Not a big deal. And finally, the last little tool I got to help me on my way is this contour gauge. If you haven't seen one of these before, it's actually a really neat way to kind of go around the edges of things and get the right shape. So yeah, I'm going to be using this to help me 
kind of make replicas of some of the stuff I've already got. The side of my round noggin. So I think you can probably tell where I'm going with this. I'm going to start making some 3D pin models. I cannot wait. I have been watching so many videos on how to make one and make it smooth and make it nice and make it look cool. So yeah, I can't wait to experiment and see what kind of nonsense I can come up with. It's going to be really fun and I'm really looking forward to it. And another thing, I've been looking at the uh, whole Kappa experience and I've seen a bunch of people who have kept their channels as sort of a free-for-all. Um, I think they changed the rules that toy channels for collectors and dolls and all of that stuff are kind of general interest and not necessarily for kids. So yeah, basically all of my old stuff is A-OK. -okay. I'm gonna go back and change everything because I really miss having comments on my videos, guys. Well guys, if you liked what you saw coming out of that box, I will probably leave some links down in the description. Uh, stay tuned, you know what's coming. Bye.